go on YouTube. So tonight we're going to be going on a little trip. Uh, tonight is the uh, Boston Aquarium Society. Uh, they meet every third Monday of the month at the New England Aquarium at 7.30. We begin the show around 8. Uh, tonight is the uh, quarterly auction. So we're going to be going there tonight. We're actually bringing some fish. I just loaded up the cooler. Give you guys what we got. Uh, we got some common bristle nose we're going to be bringing with us. We got some three Gertrude rainbows. We got six Australian rainbows. Five little panda quarries. We got six emerald quarries in here. We also got a breeding group of pepper quarries. And we also going to be bringing some cherry shrimp and orange bee shrimp. All right, yeah. Ah, crap. Um, yeah, so I'm going to get on the road soon. Uh, I got to get some food and we're going to be heading out. All right, we've made it to New England Aquarium. Time to go in there, go set up, start filming. Let's let the fun begin, guys. Five here, five looking for seven. The benefit of these is, uh, yeah, 
you know, they're grown, no snails, no, you know. Seven in the back. Nine, two. Eleven. Eleven looking for thirteen. Eleven dollars to all one. Twice sold. Eleven dollars in the back. Why twenty-three? Six point swords. These are my voice projects. They're getting a little better. These are uh, about a five dollars for the voice swords. There's six fish in the bag. Out of five all is there's uh, nine fish in the bag. Five there, five look at seven. Seven look at nine. Nine look for eleven. Eleven. Eleven look at thirteen. Thirteen. Fifteen. Seventeen. Seventeen. Seven look at eight. Seven look at eight. I'll take like fifteen bucks a piece anyway. Seven in the back. Seven on once. Twice sold. Seven dollars. This is another donation. This is uh, one small crypt in a um, in a pot, but they sent us a bunch of crypts there, unpotted. You just gotta pot them yourself, but they have tremendous roots on them. And there's two different types. I left the, the labels are on the bag, the types of crypts they are. How many Yeah, I forgot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There's at least five good stems, and then you get the potted plant. So there's, a, there's six five. plants in the bag. Five. five here. Five. Seven. Seven. Ten. Ten, Ten over for twelve. Twelve here. Thirteen. Thirteen over for fourteen. Thirteen here. Fourteen. Fourteen over for fifteen. Fifteen. It's only three dollars a piece. Fifteen to all once. Twice. Sixteen. 16 low over 17. 16 going once. 17. Any 18. 18 low over 20. 20. Any advance on 20? 20. 22. Any advance on 22? 22 going once. Twice sold. On 15. Any advance on 15? 15 going once. Twice sold. 15. Japan match. Foreground plant, one of those mats. Where we go? Five? Yeah. Seven. Nine. Eleven. Twelve. Fourteen? Fourteen going for sixteen. Fourteen going once. Twice. Sold. Fourteen dollars. Goodbye. On eighty five. <coughs> this is that uh red. So how much did the last one sell for? What's that? Fourteen. Fourteen. And that was a donation, right? Yeah, that was a donation. That was the map. I just want to Lot 85. Two pair of that red tail split fin. The good day is. That was where I saw the auction. That was a crazy one. Uh, that was really expensive. But it was a fun one. I got some nice shell dwellers. I'll make a video when I get home. Or continue the video, essentially. Uh, stay tuned. I hope you guys can see the seals. There he goes. Alright guys, we just got home from the auction, uh, it's about 11.15 now, uh, we got some good fish, got some good deals, some things were expensive, uh, this is the biggest auction I've been to, this was their quarterly auction, um, usually there's only like 20 people usually when I go, but for the quarterly auction, I think a little bit more, like 30, so today there was about 50 people, uh, they also got a huge donation for plants, it was put out by a fish farm in Florida, I forget the name of the farm, they donated six hundred dollars wholesale plants, so there was a lot of plants. I was pretty excited about that, but uh, they went really expensive. They were almost some of them went above retail. Uh, so it was just a lot of bidding wars going on tonight. It was fun. I got some good deals. Like I said, some deals were just too high. So it's cooler right here, guys. I'm gonna crack her open. I'll show you what I got. You guys ready? All right, we're gonna break this bad boy open. First thing we got. Uh, we had a lady come in, I wish I got her information, but she actually does uh, paintings of uh, fish. It's a nice lovely disc, she donated to the uh, fish club. I uh, won this for 15 bucks, I really liked it, it came out really nice. Let me know what you guys think. I wish she put her information on the back, I know she had a uh, Facebook. 
page and everything. Her name was Cat. But yeah, well, some really nice artwork. She had claw horns and other different fish, but the discus was the one I jumped on. So we're gonna hang that in the fish room somewhere. We'll put it aside for now, guys. Next thing we got, we got one plant because you know, I wasn't trying to break the bank on plants tonight. We got what is called a Elmo sword, Elmo fire. No idea. I uh, just thought it looked red, so I attempted to jump on it. It was another one I wanted, but unfortunately I went to the bathroom and when I came back, I just missed the bed. It was a big, huge plant. It was bigger than this guy. Wow, this thing was root bound. Get this out of the thing. Sorry, guys. Wow. My head's over like a foot, so gives you an idea how big this plant is. Almost fire sword. That's beautiful. And it looks like there's about four or five plants actually inside of here. So you can see it. Pretty cool. Nice red color. I like it. Got melon to work. Right, that's aside for now. Next on the bucket list that we got. We got Exona Tene Exon Exeno Toka. I have any red tail split fins. Uh, they're not colorful right now. These are another goodie type of fish. Uh, I believe they said these ones are the ones that get endangered in the wild. So you can just see the shape. There's no color to them right now. Yeah, I got them for you a deal. Nobody bit on this guy, so I grabbed them. Probably flip them or something, so I don't know. Or give them to somebody. But, uh, it's a pike cichlid. It's a notopathalima male. The guy was trying to breed them, but, uh, yeah, he killed the female off. He had him for a while. Sorry, guys. Thing's not very photogenic. You can see it. That's full size. It's only about five inches. Not too big of a fish. I'm gonna put him with the Africans. Uh, next up, we got a trio of triple reds, cockatooties. These are our pistos. See that male right there, he looks great. Uh, actually, these are double reds, right? not triple, sorry. Yeah, need to add some more reds back to the breeding program. Uh, what else we got in this goodie bag? Oh, I got a uh, catfish right here. I told me it was a petricola. I'm a big for a petricola, to be honest. I thought it was a lanceatus, I think they call it. Pretty low catfish, African catfish. And I'll do more videos on these guys once I get them all settled in, because they don't want to look at the camera at all. There you go, you kind of see them now. No idea where I'm going to put all these things. Um, what was in this big ass bag? Ah, this was the one I was all excited for. Let me put the camera now. Uh, Similis, a breeding group. So there's 10 in here? Yeah, 10. They're a shell dweller. So we have the multifasciatus, now we're going to have these guys for the collection. Let's see if you guys can see them better. They all just want to be on my side. These are a small African. I think they're fully grown already. Got these rare things up. Par parasite parasite Niger penis. I'm sure I'm not saying that right. Uh, I got a pair. I was told. Is there a weird looking African? I guess they're really rare. I've never seen them before. I googled them as I was doing it. They were really pretty. So get them set up. We're almost done, guys. What is in this bag? Amerisplendens, a critically endangered Mexican goodie. R. Pierce. 
So these are another type of goodies. Looks like we got a group of four of them in here. It's a little hard to see them. I always just want to be in the corners. These are really pretty ones, so maybe I'll look up photos and I'll try to drop photos on every fish. I'll uh, see Google Picks. Uh, we got three long fin peppertories. It's kind of funny, I brought my regular peppertories and sold them off, and I'm going to buy in three peppertories. But they're long fins. I actually ended up bidding against my buddy, I didn't even know he was bidding with me. He was across the room. That's pretty cool. Some different quarries for the stock. Uh, I broke this bag. Kind of sucks, but maybe you guys out of here quickly. Oh, uh, we got a bag of Brashardi. I was told these are Daffodai. Daffodoli. Not too sure. Look, yeah, look the yellow on the camera. I actually as you guys in a tank right now, this bag's leaking pretty bad. I kind of popped the back. There's 15 of them in here, it's quite a bit. Let that float for a minute. Uh, last but not least, got one more bag of fish. And this is Lampo Lamprologus Bashosis. I was told they're supposed to be a pear. This is a another shell dweller. I hope it is because they're a really pretty one. Yeah. Alright guys, I'm gonna get these things acclimated and we'll go from there. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for all the love and getting lately on YouTube. I've never had my channel blow up as much as it did. It's not like crazy blowing up, but it definitely blew up more than it ever has. I'd like to thank all you guys for making that possible. I'd like to thank everybody that subscribed. Like I think I'm up to 174. I've jumped like 75 subscribers in the last month. Uh, I really appreciate it, guys. You know, if we keep growing this channel the way we are, you know, hopefully we can get some sponsors and we can start giving away stuff too. You know, I'd like you guys to kind of grow with me. You know, we can do this together. There's plenty of different things, plenty of different fish, plenty of things we can learn from each other. But um, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure to like, subscribe, tell your friends, tell your mom. Or come visit me at Petco in Medford. Thanks for watching, guys, and have a great night.